right, Zena Woodhog Princess, and welcome to another Jujube haul. This is a relook at the four items I recently unboxed. I'll put the link here for the unboxing. But now they're open and we can explore the items themselves. Hi, Kelly. Um, okay, so the first item is the Eco Sling in the Roller Disco Dreaming pattern. This is Tokidoki and Sanrio. So it's Hello Kitty and Friends. And it comes with a whole bunch of zipper pulls. We'll get into those in a second. But it's a nice material. So it, the Eco stuff, let me take all this plastic off. Um, let's see what this says. I think I got a double tag on here. Oh no, that one just says okay. Machine washable, hyper organization, antimicrobial lining. Yeah, it just says that in multiple languages. Get ready to roll with Dro Roller Disco Dreaming and Latest Toki Doki for Hello Kitty and Friends by Jujube Collection. So Jujube is Hello Kitty, My Melody, Karopi, Bats, Maru, Chocolat, no, Choco Cat, Karomi, Gudetama, Sanrio. Um, so Roller Disco Dreaming has a bunch of zipper pulls. And these are the ones you can get. We talked about this with the Roller Disco Dreaming. I'll put that big haul there. Um, but those are the zipper pulls you can get. On the Eco Sling, most of the zipper pulls are the Tokidoki with the Hello Kitty bow. So it's got that little crossbones thing with Tokidoki and then it's on a bow. So one, two, three, four, Five out of six zipper pulls are that. And the sixth one is, let's see who this is. Bats Maru. So there he is right here in the green. So lots of zipper pulls, a little dangle jangle, and we have the pocket zip, those two clang. Um, but let's look at this. You have the Hello Kitty Sanrio Tokidoki. Um, tag, if you will. It says, Tokidoki for Hello Kitty and Friends by Jujubee. And it's a Hello Kitty head with the Tokidoki thing on top. Then you have these two side pockets, which are pretty small, but they go up towards the angle. So this one goes up behind the Hello Kitty head. They're really not big. So what would you use that for? It would fit AirPods. It would fit coins. Although your coins would fall out as soon as you unzipped it. Uh, it would fit a key or a small key keychain with a few keys on it. It could fit your um, wired headphones, things like that. I mean, it's not a big pocket, so it's not going to. You put a few dollars in there, certainly. It won't fit a card, like a business card or a credit card or an ID. But there you have it. Um, then you have this middle pocket, and this one is definitely big enough for. All of those same things, plus you could put cards in there, so maybe you don't want to take a wallet. You might be able to fit like a coffee break or a card case in there, perhaps. I, I don't have one right here, or I would try it. But really, then you have a pocket on the back. This one looks like it has a split zipper, hopefully that resolves. There we go. Okay, the back pocket is full length, so... Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's my friend texting. But the phone will fit in there easily. It's not soft lined, but it is a perfect place for it. And you have this, you could see the uh, pink and blue, it kind of is a, like an ombre type pattern there. And it has little character heads and the Tokidoki bits, like there's Kuropi right there. Yeah, so fun stuff. There's a Hello Kitty down below and yeah, so. That's the back pocket. It is, the main pocket is a double zipper right up front and it's a typical belt bag or sling. You know, you have the bigger on the top and it's angled flat on the back and then it kind of has this front part. So if you don't have a bunch of stiff stuff in the very front, you can utilize this pocket to its fullest. Inside it does have four card slots. So there you go, you don't even have to use a card case. Nope, sorry, three card slots. It's like a little patch sewn on there with card slots in it. So three card slots there built in and you have a key clip. So 
I guess I wouldn't put my keys outside if I can clip them to the inside. Or you could even, no, that wouldn't work. I'll say you can clip them on and tuck them outside in that pocket and then zip it, zip that lanyard in there and your double zipper, you could come around to that point. So if you are really tight for space or you want your keys to be a little more quick access but not lost, you could do that. I don't know, just a thought. I've not used this bag. I've never had one of these before. I've had belt bags for sure, but like the hipster and the hippie or something like that. But this one's different, the Eco Sling. It feels like nylon, so it's definitely a different fabrication than the other stuff. And I like it. And it's structured because it has that padding and quilting on the back with the mesh, but it's also pretty flimsy. So very packable, very travelable. Has a really robust belt with an easy quick release um, belt on there, very adjustable. So very cool, I like it, I like it a lot. Let me just go ahead and put this in here since I'm not using it yet. All right, so that's the first item. <laughs> it took a while, sorry. Um, the second item is very quick. It literally is the Be Quick. I did not mean to be funny there. It just happened to come out my mouth. Um, but the Be Quick in the new Herbology pattern from Harry Potter, it's a very dark pattern, like literally dark. I don't mean like it's dark and deep and yeah, I'm just, no, it's just dark. Um, but you have a lot of the famous plants, St. John's wort, mistletoe, leaping toadstool, mandrake, whomping willow, Mimbulus, Mimbletonia, Devil's Snare, Wormwood, more Devil's Snare. Um, yeah, so you have a lot of different ones and they all have their names right by them so you, you can see what they are. I do have a little bit of a different pattern placement on the back and I was opening this up earlier out of the plastic and I saw this, like it cut the corner of my eye, this big white thing and I thought that something had gotten spilled on it. Nothing was on the table to spill. Um, it's just the, <laughs> it's a planter pot. It, it's just the way it's painted on there. Anyway, it had that like little white blur next to it. So it looked like something smeared, but it's actually not, not, it's supposed to be there. <laughs> so these white sections, I don't know if it's like a branch behind it or what. So, yeah. So there you go. All the plants. And the zipper pull on here is really cute. It's actually, it looks like a book. And on the one side, it says Hogwarts. And on the other side, it says Wizarding World Harry Potter. So that's cute. It is a single zipper because it's to be quick. You have the one small strap here, so you can make it a wristlet or like a little clutch or a little thing. And then inside, you also have the longer strap. It's adjustable and removable, so you can make it like a shoulder bag. There's small enough it could be crossbody <laughs> and then inside you have one privacy pocket standard quick configuration and then you just have the quick itself it's not a huge bag but it does have plenty of space great for organization and inside uh, you have all the plants on individual they look like like playing cards all just kind of strewn in a pile on a table or something but each plant has their own card so there you go. Yay. All right. So pattern placement wise, now that we have all that sorted, we can figure it out. Um, I, I'm kind of happy with it because I got a good assortment of things. I got the mandrake kind of right there um, in the middle and I got the whomping willow on both sides. So that's cool. There's the kind of more of the top half and that's more of the bottom half, but both very recognizable and an assortment of plants. So yay, Harry Potter. Add that to the collection. All right, this next item is the B set. Um, very standard B set. This is the new Tokidoki Animalini 2.0. Really cute there. It also has a variety of zipper pulls that you could get unique to this pattern. So there those are. And this other side is just instructions with diagrams how to change the zipper pulls. This particular one has, well, it looks like Sandy, but is it? No, it's it's a little different than Sandy. It's Sabochan, 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 Sabochan. Anyway, it looks like Sandy, but it's not. It's pink. It has a little different face. 
but that's that. And then the regular zipper pull just has Tiger Mom on the back and then Toki Doki and Jujubee on the front. The tag and the upper and the inner is all this bright green. Um, it's not quite chartreuse. It's uh, more of a lime green, but just very bright. So it's a bright green. But I really like this pattern, and I'm really happy with pattern placement on this. Be quick. Um, I got Warthogs on there, which is my number one thing. But I got a good variety of the characters. I mean, I have an intact giraffe right here, even though its neck has a tag over it. I've got my little warthog down here. Yay, warthog princess. Got the zebra or zebra, some people say. Got mozzarella on the bottom. Got sabochan right here, just like the zipper pull, and a lot of other great animals. On the back, I have a slightly different pattern placement, but I think it's centered beautifully. Because you're right here with the water scene on the bottom, you've got the animals, the elephant and the baby elephant. You've got Tiger Mom right here, Sabochan again, you've got the Warthog again, the zebra. You've got the, um, I don't know what his name is, but the little safari dude in the middle. So you kind of just have the whole scene on that side, really cool. Yeah, let's look at the other two, just for all the standard B set things. And Warthog spotting. So Warthog on the bottom, kind of cut off, but pretty good placements on all these. I really don't think you can get a bad placement. Um, this one, because the pattern repeats, you know, this one has a little different parts of it. So you got little snake dude, you've got the upper part of the previous scene that we were looking at. Donatella with donuts. <laughs> um, yeah, just fun. Just fun stuff. Yeah. Lots of safari dudes kind of intermixed with characters. So that's cool. And then inside that, you have the small set piece. Let's see, oh, perfect. I got mozzarella right in the middle with elephants and some others. And on the back side, got giraffe and a pink elephant and a purple hippo. Yeah, it, it all worked out quite nicely. So I don't like a lot of headless things on the small piece, which is pretty impressive. Okay, so. You have the small set piece with one loop on the end. It does have the hinge zipper pull, which I, I like that. Then you have the medium set piece that has loops on both ends. So you can use it either with the short strap or with the long strap, make it a crossbody or a wristlet or whatever. And then you have the large one that also has loops on both sides right here. And then it does not have the locking zipper pulls. So it doesn't have that loop between them. What I'm gonna do is put the tags inside and then close it that way. So that's what I do until they use it. There you go. Now, same pattern, different piece. I got the B light, which is the tote. Um, and I think this is a B light plus, honestly. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. So the Be Light Plus means it comes with a changing mat. It's not a changing pad, it's a mat. Now, right here, I already have the warthog. <laughs> uh, but the cool thing about the mat, well, multiple cool things. One, I don't have a baby, so I don't need a changing pad. But these make great, like, place mats or crafting pads. You don't get stuff on your table or you can set it down so you can sit on a wet bench. Um, yeah, and if you have kids, oh, it's perfect. But um, you also can send them to people or make them yourself into custom pieces in that pattern, which is great. The cool thing is you're looking at a pattern like this is that you can look at a big chunk of it all in one and you can sort of see where it repeats. So for example, I have the babe, mama and baby elephant here and they repeat again here. So it's a, it's a straight section. So all your favorites you'll probably see multiple times on here like there's a warthog there's a warthog you know there you go so it looks like i've got two full repetitions on here because i've got these two here they're right here again and then the tops of them there so pretty pretty comprehensive look um, but it is a fun pattern tokidoki always is and i like the colors of the bag overall like all together but I'm not real keen on the green. <laughs> it's, just, it's just not my thing. It's bright and happy and cheery. Um, so there's that. I will eventually, not right away, but I'll do a video and I'll get all the Tokidokis out together and see which ones goes with which ones. 
and we'll compare that to some of the solid colors as well. But I can assure you I don't have anything really that goes with this. Uh, nor will I be getting anything that goes with it, but that's okay. It's lovely and it will work great for this bag. I like to use the Be Light as an everyday purse. It's a slouchy option for sure, but I kind of like that about it. I have gazillions of pack pouches and things, and I just put them all inside. It does also have two pockets on the front. They're just tall slip pockets. Um, one and two. Oops, where's that go in? Right there. So you can put a water bottle, you can put your phone, you can put your sunglasses, you can put your wallet up there. Whatever it is that you choose to separate from the rest of the pack, which is inside. It does have a zipper closure. It has a privacy zipper pocket on the back. That is where the changing pad is when you get it. Oops, it goes sideways. Fits perfectly right into that pocket once you get it all folded up like that. So I will leave it there and zip it in. And there are no other pockets or organization on the inside. It does have a zipper closure on the top and it also has the newer ones anyways, um, have the loops already installed on the sides. So you can put a strap on it and use it crossbody as well. Um, I did buy the strap that goes with this. No, I did not. I did not buy the strap that goes with this. But I have other straps that will go with this. I thought for a second I did, but no, it's green. So that was a no for me. But anyway, okay. So that is it for this Tokidoki refresher review uh, haul, whatever you want to call it, because I did unbox it the other day, but now we actually had it unwrapped and can look at it a little more details. Um, happy holidays. Three more days till Christmas. Hope uh, anybody who's celebrating anything, whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, whoever you're with, be happy, be healthy, and uh, find some joy to hang on to as we go into the next year. Bye for now.